So how's that art and science work out here together? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, unfortunately, she, she keeps too close attention to droughts. And this is the first time we may be able to keep our replacement heifers because she caused a panic sale uh, that it's never going to rain again and has the infographics to back it. So producer pasture decisions are, 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 are tough. They're, they're scrutinized fairly hard. <laughs> well, that's from the artist's side. <laughs> yes, yes. So it, sometimes I can't get him to listen to me if I just talk to him about how dry it is or if we're walking around or driving around in the pasture. But the second he sees me, sees me building a slide deck for producers in Reagan County or, you know, uh, wherever it may be, the second he sees those slide maps and, and drought monitor maps, he'll, he'll start asking more questions like, well, well, what's it look like over there? Well, you know, what's the what's the forecast in the mo and then the long term monitoring say? And I'm, I'll just say, well, this is what I'm telling the folks in Big Lake today. And then, and then when I get home, sometimes there's animals in the trailer or they're out of the pasture. And but um, yeah, that is a, a healthy dynamic to a, any relationship is both an art and a science. You know, it, it, and that is that is so true for for so much of our rangeland management. Uh, it, you know, it, the two have to work together and, uh, and what a beautiful opportunity to see it working together in a family out yeah. here in, uh, in the Edwards Plateau of Texas. Yeah. 